What's up, everybody? Come on inside the booth as we talk Tabitha's Take for 13 Lives. This movie came out back in July of this year, 2022, but it's actually based off the real world events that took place in Thailand back in 2018, I believe it was. So this is a real story. I'm gonna try to leave it spoiler free if I can help it, unless I get just too excited about things, but we'll just see how this goes. So we'll start off with the whole plot of the movie, basically, 12 young boys and their soccer coach ended up in the depths of a tunnel, a cave, um, actually a very famous cave, Tam Luang Cave in Thailand. And they ended up like a mile or more deep inside of the mountain and got stuck. It was monsoon season was upon the country and it flooded the cave and the kids did not get to go home to their parents. So their parents are freaking out. Where are my kids? And apparently the kids tend to hang out at this cave. Maybe don't do that. And when they didn't arrive at the party that was going to be held that evening at somebody's house, uh, the parents are like, oh, let's go check this out. And that's when the story really begins. If you are not familiar with this story, like I said, I'm gonna try to leave it spoiler free so you can enjoy this film. If you happen to keep up with the events of that time frame, then you already know what the ending is. And so, but it's still definitely worth a movie to watch, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So while these kids are stuck in this cave and we don't know exactly what's going on, if they're making it, a lot of suspense in this film, which is really phenomenal. Not like this blood curdling, eerie, you know, uh, drama that could end up in a horror film, but more of what's going to happen. Just that basic element of, are the kids okay? So a bunch of people around the world find out about this problem and volunteer their time and their services to try to get these kids um, out of the cave. But first they have to discover if the kids are even still alive. And enter two of the prominent people in this film played by Viggo Mortensen and Colin Farrell. Colin, Colin, whatever. That guy that we've seen in so many different movies. I don't remember the rest of the cast and the crew, except for Uncle Owen was in this movie as well, but I don't remember his name either. So Viggo Mortensen and Colin Farrell play as divers. They've been uh, rescue divers. They've been doing this for over 30 years. And you can see a lot of personal growth in this film as well, because Viggo Mortensen's character isn't really fond of kids. And it's basically like, let them solve their own problems. We've got enough stuff to deal with on our own. Whereas Colin Farrell's character is a father of a youngster himself. And so his heartstrings are a little bit pulled and he convinces Viggo Mortensen to and I keep saying Viggo Mortensen and Colin Farrell because I'm having a hard time remembering the actual names of the people who did the rescuing and the scouting and the searching. Uh, Richard Stanton and John Volenthan, but we'll just continue to call them Vigo and Colin, you know, Colin, Colin, whatever. In the depths of this cave, water is just accumulating like crazy. And it's so fascinating to watch these actors um, with these practical effects, swimming in the water, in the narrowness of the caverns, in the darkness of the caverns, um, the dangers that are awaiting them really at every turn. It's not something I've ever really thought about um, before seeing this film. And watching them navigate through with all the equipment, it really gets you uh, invested in the film in many different ways. You kind of feel like you're always in the water because a lot of the story does take place there and uh, in the darkness and things like that. So uh, there's a, just so much in this film that really brings you in, as well as the music and the lack thereof. They did a great job just, just in the right time. They would have just some of this like ethereal music going on. And then a lot of times there was just silence because it was a cave. Again, really bringing you into this film, making you feel like you're along for the adventure, the journey as well. A lot of drama because the parents are crying outside. They don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on. Are the kids going to make it? Are they not going to make it? Um, and even if they find the kids, are they going to bring them out alive? And that is the big question that they face. So they do end up finding the kids at like 
the end of this tunnel. I'm like, how did they even get that far? But at the end of the tunnel, or at least somewhere in the middle of the mountain, I should say, they end up finding the kids and their coach still alive. Yes, I know I did say I would try to leave the spoiler free, but this is kind of important. And then they make the attempt to get the kids out using unorthodox methods, thanks to Uncle Owen. From start to finish, I was really invested in this film. It is nearly three hours long, but well worth the time, in my opinion. Ron Howard directed this film, and he did a spectacular job. And from what I understand, he did uh, a really great job of not omitting any details that were essential to the story because he wanted to respect um, the people of Thailand and what they went through during this time. Because that's, for me, really important. When something is uh, factually based, historically based, like, is it really? Like, is it really, though? That's the question I want to know. And according to reports, he did an outstanding job keeping this true to the real world scenario. The actors did a great job. Like I said, lots of growth, personal development, and then the suspense, the drama, the sadness, the joy from different moments when they think they've made uh, grand leaps and discovering things and when the, the hope gets built up and then it drops back down. It's really, really good with that. I will go ahead and just say, though, if you're not a fan of subtitles and maybe you have uh, reading comprehension issues, um, you might struggle through this movie a little bit because a lot of this film is done in Thai, not English. Sorry. That was done to make sure that it was respectful to the people of Thailand and really, again, to just immerse you in this film and this culture. Lots of fantastic B-roll. I've just got to say, this movie was spot on with that because there wasn't too much. There wasn't too little. It was just right. My absolute favorite scene in this movie actually is in the B-roll footage because it does so much in such little time for the storytelling. In the beginning, when the parents realize that their children are not coming home anytime soon and that they're stuck in a dire circumstance, we see the opening of the cave of Tam Luang with the bicycles in the front and the camera just slowly, very slowly, starts entering into the cave and it again tells that story without having any words at all. Children's bicycles, Absence of children, cave, darkness, perfect. So the moral of the story is don't go cave exploring if you've got a birthday party you need to get to. Just saying. I would recommend this film for sure. Again, if you have a hard time with subtitles, if you have a hard time sticking it out through, you know, two and a half plus hours of filming, don't worry. It is worth it. And if you have seen 13 Lives and you thought it was fantastic or maybe you didn't think it was fantastic, let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for hanging out with me inside the booth today. Please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and of course, ding that bell so you get notified of all of our upcoming videos. And if you wanna look for ways to support the channel, you can absolutely do that in the description box down below. I'll catch you next time for Tabitha's Take.